exactly. How do you, how do you feel about what he, Berman said about being sick and that being the reason that he lost the fight? Well, I told, before the fight happened, I said, don't make excuses. You know, the thing about people, people don't want to hear excuses. They want a winner and they want a loser. And if the win, if the person that win wins, then you know it's it's it, it noted, it's dated. What happened? The facts is the facts. But the person that loses, nobody want to hear the reason. Nobody want to hear an explanation of how you lost or why you lost. They just want to hear you saying, "Hey, I admit it. I, I lost, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best the next time. It won't be the last of me. I'm coming back. I promise." And people, uh, people respect that even more, you know, because the thing about it, people don't like a loser that contradicts themselves. One minute, you're good, you're healthy, you're all access, talking, so confident, and then when the time the fight happens, all of a sudden, something just so dramatically happens in the ring. The thing about it, I'm at peace. I'm at peace with what, uh, at, at, at all, you know. And let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's say he did get dehydrated and stuff like that. Well, come November fourth, he got an opportunity to redeem himself. And and for that reason, I'm happy for him. So uh, for so myself, because ain't shit been going right for my career. So if it leads to another black man making his career, um, you know, happy, he said he's happy. So hey, I've been doing a lot of happiness uh, throughout attaining this belt. And it seems like on his end that he's only suffered headaches and pain and heartaches. So if this fight brings some type of comfort or a relief of, of happiness that should come upon him, then may God be with him. But come on that night, November 4th, I don't see anything being different. I don't see, if anything, the only thing going to be different is it's much easier. It's going to be a much easier fight. You know, when you get in the ring with somebody, you fight them the first time, you get everything, you know. And like he said, he said it's the best. We went 12 rounds, so we know each other. And we know what the outcome was. So the second time around, why would it be any different? If he feels that he has something over me, he feels that he's seen something that he can export in this fight come the second time around, what do you think I have? What do you think I see? And it's been almost three years. I'm better. My mind is better. My mind is a different state of being. <laughs> I'm at peace. My mind is totally at a different state. I'm, oh, my God. But I'm happy for him. You know, I'm happy for him. And we shall see. He said there's no more excuses after this. And I hope it's not. Because I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it, man. You know, it's more stress than a person worrying about another guy having so much animosity, so much hate for no reason. Then, then they say, you know what? Hey, you did what you had to do. You won fair and square. We got the next one coming on. And that's it, because at the end of the day, if this fight happens the same way the first time happened or worse, who looks who looks like the fool at the end of the day? Who He going to be just saying, well, you know, I already knew it, this and that. And y'all can quote me on this. Y'all can put this down in paper. Y'all can put this at the top of the headlines. Because the way I'm feeling about boxing right now, if Ernest DeBurn beats me, I will retire. You can put that down. I will be out of the way. Boxing ain't got to worry about me no more because it ain't really doing me no good anyway. Nobody don't want to fight. All I wanted to do was prove that I am the best, and the best don't want to fight. So what? what's the point of me being in this sport? If Berman, proved, if Berman beats me, by any, if he beats me, y'all don't have to hear about me no more. I'm done. I'm done. That's how serious it gets. It don't get no serious than that.